Hey guys, it's Helen, Inspiring Fitness Personal Training. Today's workout is focusing on our abdominal area. So we've got this nice tight tummy that we're all, all looking for. So we've got five exercises and I'll take you through them as we go along. So first exercise, I'll just put the timer on. We're going for knee taps. So we go hand to knee, cross the diagonal. Let's start there, that's it. So you put up that tummy in nice and tight, keep your head and shoulders relaxed. Just look straight ahead of you, stiff that knee as high as you possibly can, without causing any pain or discomfort. So we're going for 30 seconds on these. That's it, good. Keep lifting those knees up, keep that tummy tight, don't have to lean down towards your knee. And stop there, then we're going into a plank. So we've got three options for this plank. So, we're going hands and toes, your first option, or we can drop onto forearms and toes, your second option, or we can do forearms and knees, your third option. So, any of those, we're going 45 seconds. So we've got 30 seconds left, so we're going to hold the top, squeeze your tummy in, squeeze your butt tight, push down through those hands. If you need to drop your knees at some point, you can do. Drop them down, have a little breather, then push back up into that plank. Good, 15 more seconds to go. Keep everything squeezed in nice and tight. Remember to breathe, even though you're squeezing that tummy tight, you can still breathe. Good, and then to release that tension, going back into a child's pose. So take your foot back to your heels and you stretch out that lower back. So you just hold that position, just a nice relaxing stretch. And then your next one, we're going to lie on our back. So bring your knees in towards your chest. We're going to extend one leg out, bring it back in, extend the other leg out and back in. That's it. Good. If that's too much and you need to rest that foot on the floor, rest it down gently and bring it back in. That's your decision. Good. Just remember to keep that lower back pushed into the floor. Keep going for another 15 seconds. Good. Keep that back pushed into the ground. Squeeze that belly button in. Good. And then hold your knees into your chest to squeeze them in to release the tension on those muscles. Good, and we release your knees. And we're coming up into our last one. It's a reverse crunch. So knees into your chest, hands behind your head if you're more advanced. You're going to squeeze your abs and lift those knees up. Squeeze and lift. If you need to, you can take a swing, so take your leg down, squeeze, just make sure the movement is coming from your abs, not from your legs. Good, squeeze this lower ab abdominal area. If you want to put your hands on the floor, you can do that one too. That's it. Keep squeezing those abs tight. This one you should really be feeling about now. That's it. Squeeze. Another 15 seconds to go. Good, those abs should be starting to burn now. Keep squeezing. Excellent. Feet back on the floor. And that's it. We are done. Well done. Five minutes concentrating on that abdominal area. Do that two to three times a week and you'll soon start to feel the difference. Hope you enjoyed that workout and I hope you're back again tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.